Raymond Burr. For most of us, he will always be Perry Mason. And forever in our memories, he'll work alongside the lovely Barbara Hale and the dashing William Hopper. They were so perfect for their parts, you just figured they were picked right away. Not so, according to Raymond Burr. I was lucky enough to talk with him years ago, and he told me it was touch and go for him back in a 1956 audition. He said everybody in Hollywood was testing for the role, but Perry Mason author Earl Stanley Gardner picked him. Uh, when the television possibility came along, I guess they must have tested around 100 actors, and I was probably 101 or 2 or 3. And uh, he decided on me that I was what he wanted in the picture as far as visually is concerned. And it went from there. I stayed with it, and uh, I enjoyed doing it. I've just done a brief Amazon Kindle book on my memories of Raymond Burr and his memories of Perry Mason, including the feeling of family among the folks who worked on the show. We all ended up being very close friends on that show, so we were very fortunate there crew as well as uh, the actors in it. In addition to Perry Mason, we talked about some of his B-movies like Bride of the Gorilla, the U.S. footage that he shot for Godzilla, and all the years it took him to shed his image as a movie villain. I was pulling away from doing the heavies in live television then, and, and uh, certainly in motion pictures. You run out of ways of doing heavy after a while. Run out of ways of being killed. <laughs> Raymond Burr was a classic actor. He was also a class act. I hope that comes across in the Amazon Kindle e book, Remembering Perry Mason with Raymond Burr.